This is the next to last video of season five as we sail back from the Caribbean and up the Chesapeake to Annapolis. This season of Sailing Doodles has featured Bobby and Taylor sailing down to the Caribbean and back. This channel is made possible by our patrons. Thank you so much. In the previous video, we sailed up the Chesapeake and our first stop was Reedville. And then we continued on to the Solomons where we met up with some of our sailing friends. We had a fun time last night. It was really good to, to get like a big gang together and have yeah. fun. So uh, today we're gonna, we gotta get back to Annapolis on Monday. So we're gonna start heading north up to Chesapeake. I think we're going to Harrington Bay or something today. And then we'll do maybe do St. Michael's tomorrow and then back to Annapolis. So uh, we're buddy boating with our friends, Jeff and Cameron on West Wind. And we're gonna head up that way. We'll follow you up there. up and we're catching up to our friends they left just a couple minutes before us but we're gaining on them quickly wow we have about 30 feet of water line on them so <laughs> we ought to well, how much wind do we have right now uh, i think it's like 11 knots something like that cool so uh we're we're doing 4.8 knots on 12 knots of wind but it just picked up so there's five knots we'll be flying eventually yeah once we turn into the wind a little bit we'll speed up mm -hmm. It's always kind of cool. I, so the guy in the jet ski just came up and uh, he's a viewer. So it's pretty neat. We're just sailing along and yeah. all of a sudden he pulls up in his jet ski. We talk, chat for a few minutes and moves on. He actually started watching from Flying Doodles. So if you haven't watched Flying Doodles, check that out. I'll be filming new episodes of that uh, in the next week or two. And uh, so, yeah. That was pretty cool. Well, the winds have really dropped off now. Five knots of wind. So we're motor sailing. Uh, but we're going to have to tack here in about two minutes. So I guess we'll film that even though <laughs> It'll be a pretty easy maneuver with five knots of wind. We were buddy boating with our friends and patrons, Jeff and Cameron, on their 36-foot Catalina. We had planned on going into Harrington Harbor North, but we weren't quite gonna make it. Well, we've got problems. We were trying to come into the channel here and we kind of thought it was gonna be a bit shallow, but we're we're stuck right now. We're, we're stuck up on the bottom. We've been going forward and reversing and trying to get ourselves out, but um, we're stuck. Uh, free. Yeah, use we got free uh, using the bow thruster, just hard over the rudder and bow thruster at the same time. We got around off of what we were stuck on, and uh, we're not going in there now. Here they come, friends! Oh yeah, we may raft up here instead of going in, so it'll be kind of cool. Let's see. Here we are. What's going on, guys? Are y'all wanting to raft up, or what do you want to do? Yeah, we can just tie that one to your bow. You good? Good job, guys. All right, we are rafted up here, uh, about to go dinghy into shore with our good friends. Should be a good night. Time to get some grub. Oh, masks. Oh. All right, hold on to your butts. So it's 
two hour wait uh, for a table, so we uh, ordered to go takeout and we're having a few cocktails at the bar. Not bad. Let's not drop myself into the water doing this. Watch St. Michael's today. Yeah, it was a fun night, uh, rafted up with everybody. Uh, we had a good time. Um, now it's about 20 miles. Uh, the crow flies like 10 and a half, but you gotta, gotta sail around some bays and stuff. 20 miles over to St. Michael's, which is a really cool spot. Uh, I've been there once before, but I only spent one night. I guess we're only gonna spend one more night here. Uh, maybe try to get a marina or something. Uh, and uh, I don't know, I started like our last night out, really. One of my last sails. I know, yeah. Well, tomorrow too, but yeah. 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 This isn't that bad because we just reefed the, the Genoa a little bit, but like trying to cook breakfast like this, it's kind of hard. And I burnt the eggs because I had to go up and help reef the Genoa. I should not have left them on, on the burner, but I did. Start over. Well, there's a good amount of wind. It's not a real comfortable angle. Um, we're about 45 degrees true off of it, uh, which is pretty good. This boat can sail into the wind pretty good, but we heal over a lot when there's this much wind. Uh, we get the, the Genoa reef to two. Got a reef in the main and a reef in the mizzen. Uh, we're still doing six and a half knots and we're healed over. It's a more comfortable amount now. Hopefully I don't have to reef anymore. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up anymore. Really, on a, on a close haul on this, you know, we were reefing at like 13 knots of wind. This because this boat has so much sail. Why are you filming me eating eggs? Everything's a little harder when you're healed over. Uh-huh. Nothing like sailing the spinnaker in just flat seas, you know. I mean, there's like a little wind chop out here, but it's nice. Going downwind, I mean, just totally smooth. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. It was a great sail over to St. Michael's, and this is actually where they filmed Wedding Crashers. That is Perry Cabin. Makes it over the fire. St. Michael's is a charming little town with a lot of history. This is the Maritime Museum. There are several nice little marinas and it's just a short walk into town. As we were getting ready to go into town, we noticed a fellow boater lost their dinghy, so we went over and saved it and brought it back to him. We were excited to try out some of the local restaurants and then go explore the town.
there's only one episode left in this season. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. Of course, they always get early access to the videos.